Let's go, legs. What you got? Bring it. Let's go. Oh, she's strutting go, for legs. us. She's Let's strutting go. for Let's us. Let's go. Yeah. Earn that cash. <laughs> Okay, Josh, why don't you introduce yourself so I don't embarrass myself? I am Joshua Wagner. Huh? Uh, Soft spoken. <laughs> Joshua Robert Wagner. There you go. I am the regional director of nightlife for Morgan's Hotel Group down here in Miami. Great hotels in Miami like the Shore Club, Madreon, and Delano. So how did you get into nightlife? See, I started promoting when I was in high school. What, like Sadie Hawkins? <laughs> Homecoming? I was, I was doing high school parties and stuff like that. And, you know, getting a bunch of kids together and having a reason to uh, bring a bunch of my friends together and have a good time. How did you promote parties before the internet, or did you ever have to? We actually spoke to people face to face. I know, how uh, did you do it? I mean, it's social media has done so many great things, but it's also done, in my opinion, uh, some pretty horrible ones. It's taken away the personal touch of things. I mean, if I go a day without 50 invites on my Facebook page. Oh. I mean, it's it's just taking the, the person, the right, personal right. touch out like of it. Like, if I met you on the street and you were like, come to my party, I'd be like, yeah, yeah. totally. Sweet, nice guy, bow tie, I like this guy. <laughs> but if you Have sent to. me, yeah, if you sent me an evite, I'd just be like, ah, oh, junk mail. You know, I think that that personal touch is something that's been lost, and we try to do it still every day, and I think it is still capable of happening, but yeah. uh, I think for all the young kids today, they have to understand the importance of actually meeting people and talking to people and you know not just living on Twitter and Facebook. What does your job entail exactly? It's not just sending e-bikes. No. <laughs> Our business, and I know I don't mean to sound corny, but you know, life is really interpreted through through memories, right? Positive and negative ones. And uh, we're in the business of making memories for people. Okay, I'm gonna cry now. Yeah, no, cry. <laughs> but it, but it's it's really true. I mean, you you go out and you reflect on positive and negative memories, and our job is to help people have positive experiences. Such an amazing way to put it, because I feel like most people are like, you know, in your position would think of it as like, yeah, just get some whores hammered. Yeah, I mean that's you know? that's definitely part of the equation. <laughs> Can we hit the sport mode? Yeah, sport mode. Woo! Bam. There we go. Pump it. On 95. There we go. You're, You're going busy. 95. Oh, we're on 95. On 95. Okay. On 95. <laughs> I'm not going to break the speed limit in this Lexus here. Although you definitely could. You are so well spoken. What is that about? My father was in broadcasting. Like, did he beat you if you ever. Just <laughs> like. A lot of nice cars down here. A lot of nice cars in a really small area. People don't realize how small South Beach is. I mean, it's technically like 35 blocks long and a couple avenues wide, and uh, it's this little tiny island. Nah. Look at all these cars. Yeah, I know. Look the, at all these things we're passing what, the right here. Car there. shows in town this weekend. Though. Yes. So, yeah, wow, yeah, those are some pretty ridiculous wins. Not hybrids, not hybrids. Not as cool as this one right here. Take that. What is the most pathetic excuse you've ever heard for someone to try to get in. Oh my god. <laughs> well, my, my favorite is, is when people have literally said to me at the door that I, I know Josh Wagner. Oh no! And, yeah, no, no, no! It's, it's, it's really funny when somebody like is speaking to me. I'm like, really? You know, like, where, where do you know him from? Oh no! And yeah, it's, it's really funny. People, so you just go with it? I mean, I go with it totally and I'm just like, hold on, let me get him. Oh, because you don't and want them to just, be embarrassed? Nice to meet you. And here we are approaching the beautiful Delano Hotel. A lot of people think it's Delano. Well, it depends. It's actually named after Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Oh. Yeah, his family, his family used to stay here. And, oh, good. Uh, so now every time I walk in, I can think of polio. All right, so now we're coming to the basement of the Delano. This is wow. the Florida room. Some of the performances we've had here. The room was designed by Lenny Kravitz, and we're about wow. to celebrate our third year anniversary. It's pretty hot in tonight. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's all Swarovski crystal chandeliers, and the glass bead of wallpaper. We have a piano, which we'll show you. This is one of only three in the world. This is a $150,000 custom-made baby lucite shimmel piano. So the other two of these are in Lenny's apartment in New York and in Paris. Whoa. <laughs> You're too good. Okay, let's get hammered. Yeah, I'm, I'm cool with that. 
I mean, obviously there's Miami, we're gonna get you a mojito here, but we're gonna do our own little version with blackberries. But everyone comes to Miami, they always want mojitos. I have a feeling we're gonna end up getting married in the next two hours. In the next two hours. <laughs> I did say this town's a little bit like get... Vegas, right? This is gonna get crazy. <laughs> I think this is going pretty well. I think we have to take it off camera because I intend on getting really sloppy right now. This is getting dirty. It is going to get it's dirty. It's going to get really ugly. It's going to get crazy! <laughs>